<laughs> Freaking you guys out? <laughs> Freaked out by a couple birds? There's like two two pigeons in there. <laughs> Adventurers, today we're heading to the abandoned tunnels, uh, Pennsylvania Turnpike Tunnel. So uh, I'm here with Revenge of the Apocalypse and a whole bunch of others, and I'll be introducing them in a little while. But let's get started now. <laughs> All right, social adventurer. So uh, today, Alan from Revenge of the Apocalypse has invited me along on a group outing of YouTubers that we're going to go check out the Pennsylvania abandoned turnpike tunnels. Now, this is something I've been wanting to do since I've been here, and it's a bit of a hike, but uh, essentially, back in the 1800s, uh, these tunnels were originally built for trains. Uh, through time, as, as trains were used less and less, they were turned over to the Pennsylvania Turnpike Commission to be converted into roads. Uh, and they were. But in, uh, I believe it was the 50s or 60s, somewhere around there when the uh, congestion was too heavy, they actually uh, couldn't use them anymore because they're essentially two-lane bridge uh, tunnels. Um, now they're uh, basically a bike path but we're gonna head up, take a look at them. I know there's been some car shows in this area and I gotta find out when that is and how that works because I think they actually parked the cars outside of the tunnel, which would be really cool. Because it's about a mile and a half walk, I believe, to get there today. Um, but along the way, I'll see if there's anything uh, of interest. Otherwise, we'll see you there. All right, social adventurers. So we're here at the Turnpike Tunnel. And uh, we're going to show you some of the rooms and we can uh, get into some of these in a little while. Um, but look at this room here, just covered it. I mean, obviously there's room for there's graffiti and some of stuff, everything going on. Um, have a nice little room over there. Stairway right over there if we get through maybe. See what we can get. I'll take you down uh, here through the tunnel here. Let's see what we got. Got in the tunnel. Here we go. A lot of uh, inlets on these things if you look up here. Connections in there to get some light into the tunnel. It is compensating so much for her. 
can't, I can barely see my face without these uh, lights. And, you know, so, okay, it's not quite as dark as I thought. It is, it is just the, the lights dilating me down. The camera is able to compensate quite a bit. But you can see kind of there, that's the sunlight out there and coming here and what it's like. So I'm not sure what it's it looks like a porcelain where they would put the the uh, some sort of old porcelain light bulbs into it to light the tunnels. Here's the other one. Here's a piece of the porcelain where it was actually kind of you know, just broken out. There's a piece of the porcelain right there, some the broken pieces. guys so we're here at the other side of the abandoned tunnel and I want to kind of show you who uh, who came along with us today uh, we did have a few people of course you know I came with uh, Alan of uh, Revenge of the Apocalypse and then I'm gonna have some of these other youtubers uh, talk about their channel a little bit so my channel is Adam Tereska I cover a little bit of everything cars abandoned locations whatever I feel like doing at the time <laughs> great great that's abandoned. All right. And uh, we have the Wandering Woodsman here. Would you talk a little bit about your channel? Oh, hey. Yeah, I'm mostly in the woods. <laughs> Wandering <laughs> woods. But occasionally I get dragged into places like this, too. So. <laughs> terrific. Terrific. Dragged. <laughs> and we have McGee Films. Yep. Uh, just mainly do vlogs and B-roll and cinematography, whatever. Whatever my films make. Shorts. Great. I really don't have a niche, but... <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I just enjoy editing and, and video and photography. So awesome. Check me out. Awesome. And then our host is walking up here, JP Videos, who we talked about a little earlier. Uh, make sure you're checking out. Make sure you're checking out all of these channels because uh, you know they'll all have a, a, a different view on the tunnels and. Um, a different perspective so check them all out and at the end of this video I'm gonna put in the cards and as well as the description and a link to all of their videos as they put theirs up as well now we're gonna head up into uh, the, the actual rooms of the tunnels and uh, we're gonna we're gonna show you uh, what the inside of the tunnel looks like and uh, that should be pretty interesting I mean this is really what I came for I want to see the the you know anybody can go down there and it's a tunnel man we, we went through one on the way here um, I really want to see what's what's inside, so uh, that's where we're gonna head. You gonna climb in? Um, I'm gonna figure that out in a moment. No, I'm right here. You gonna climb in? Why? What's down there? Oh, well, there's a floor down there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not a big deal. But are you gonna climb in? You going in? Looks like a very comforting floor. <laughs> I go drop down there. Cause how are you gonna get up? But okay, so I came down this ladder and. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna pass that down to me yes. it's like 10 feet really and you're gonna pass it down to me what do you want to you drop it or what <laughs> yeah we're not gonna go in this way that looks like oh that's a nice Ah, uh, you're all wusses.
Here, I could just open the door for you. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the cubby under the stairs. <laughs> All right, so everybody's outside. It looks like they're not going to be coming through. Or they're still talking about if they're brave enough. So we're going to go ahead and make sure we get the footage. Big exhaust fan there. All ice. So I want to be careful of the ice. But oh, look at this fan. A fan in there. Just big hamster wheel. So this is what would have taken the exhaust fumes and generated fresh air through that tunnel. So it's going to be pretty soon that you're not going to get access to this anymore because of that, that ladder. Take it. Huh. Some are going to try. gear and there's underneath the gear the the wheel generating the the fresh air surprise so I guess that that opened up over there I guess that's what that is is that it would open up to allow the air circulation Big hamster wheel, it looks like pulled apart. <laughs> this is that area where we uh, saw earlier. Another ladder. Let's see, this one's pretty sturdy. Let's take a walk up. All right, I am not walking on this surface. I, this is very soft, and I don't know if it's soft underneath or if it, there's a hole right there. That's not safe to walk on. I'm not gonna risk it. I think that could go right through. I'm standing on the edge on the metal piece, but I, I don't really think that's a good idea to stand on there. But right there is outside. Um, just the whole generation staff. I would love to go over to those windows, but I, I do not trust this at all. Look, if you look there, see how that just goes through. And that's a hole right down. So we're going to go back down and not take too much of a risk there because I, I sincerely, I mean, I might be able to stand over there, but I am not going to risk it. Oh, you guys made it! Welcome. Very long, uh, death hole down there. I've already told toward a whole level. <laughs> Watch your step, man. <laughs> All right, so here's an interesting room, and in these buildings, some of the times, whoa, that is a cold breeze, man. This is just like a wind tunnel in here. Oh my God. Oh, this is the. This is the top, there's the tunnel right there. This, I wonder how far, the, I think you could walk the whole tunnel up here, I bet. Wow, look at that, I mean, that's just weird. Oh, there's pigeons up here. I was like, what the hell is that noise? And there's train tracks. Maybe to carry supplies or something, but I bet you could walk the whole length of the tunnel from right here. Yeah, that'll freak you out. I wonder if they're stuck up here. Yeah. 
<laughs> Freaking you guys out? <laughs> Freaked out by a couple birds? There's like two two pigeons in there. Oh, we just got to talk about pigeons. Yeah, they were in the tunnel that scared the hell out of those two. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh huh. Do you want to tell us another story? <laughs> the bat here. You know, there are two guys running out of here for birds. If those things wake up, man, I don't know, man. <laughs> That's uh, wonderful. I see the curvature of the tunnel. Huh, I wonder what that was. A little platform there. Uh, looks like probably just stored stuff there. There are some not attached steps, but uh, anybody have to use the bathroom? <laughs> no, but there's a bathroom. There's some porcelain. <laughs> It's not moving, it's just that you sure gotta it's, it's just the steps really that you gotta move. Alright, who's got the balls? Is that the step attached to the all attached? That's what I'm worried about. Is like is that sturdy? Can yeah. you stand if you can stand on that one? Because it goes around the corner, it's not attached to the wall. Uh, so you can only get down to that landing. You, you can start I, I made it down when I was here last time the hole right there was there in the steps. Go I've seen people come down yeah. using like the, they put their feet on the railings here. And kind yeah, of, that's what I was kind yeah, of thinking. As, I'm like, I could probably around, push. As you pass the landing, though, it's not attached to the wall anymore. It's What's down there, do you know? Well, it's that first floor that we can look through. Oh. I'm like, I can climb through that window. <laughs> I'm half tempted to go. <laughs> this, is, this top stuff is rotted underneath on the flange part. Got a big rock we can throw on and see who holds it. Well, there's, there's that bar there. You've got that bar. These Not these ones so much, more yeah, more it's, it's that. that one. Oh, come on, really. You might be able <laughs> to just drop it. <laughs> That's not attached. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and even this one on this side. Yeah, that's it's still shaking. attached. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's good. It's, like, it's shaking, and so are we. <laughs> it's like, turn my holy hands. <laughs> yeah, that might not be such a. Alan, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, Alan, Alan, before you go, can I have the keys? <laughs> Seems such a waste to come all this way and not make it down. Shut up.
I made it down the steps of death. I don't know if I'll make it back up, but I made it down. <laughs> this looks fine. I, I think where he was talking about that it's not, um, it's, it's here where he's talking about it's not. That's the worst part of it, because it's not attached. Like, you have to go down like I did. And I used my, like, I was using this to stop me. So, yeah. Oh, there's a pot of gold down here. <laughs> <laughs> and these stairs are actually fine. Check this out. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's the coal. This is all coal. There's the room of coal. Uh, there's two rooms and a thing of coal. Coal? Oh. Yeah, like a coal bin. Oh, Kalua. That's pretty cool. Nobody else is going to try, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I got the big size camera too. <laughs> you, you need a rope. Just drop it down. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll try and make the truck back up. There's a pool down here. All I know is I hope you guys got me coming down those steps. I didn't do it for nothing. Can I have light? How old are you? Nineteen. Nineteen. So he's second youngest and the hardest getting out. Strangarity, and I'll spell the last name S T R A N G A R I T Y. 
Okay, so these guys are about to head in where we just came from. So also check out his channel and uh, see what he's got going on.